Hi, my name's Doug, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the Particles template. The Particles template is a collection of particle effects we've put together to help you get started and give you some insight into this visual effects workflow. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and select the Particles template. This will load the template into Studio. The template is filled with all sorts of cool effects that you can tweak and export if you'd like. You can turn on and off the effects by enabling the scene objects. Under the simple particles group, we have six atmosphere-based effects. Rain, snow, blizzard, sparkles, and bokeh. Each of these effects contains a script to control the intensity of the atmosphere effect. The scripts control multiple parameters of the effects they're attached to. In this example, the intensity slider increases the amount of sparkles in the sparkle effect. You can see a similar result with the blizzard effect. Below this group we have custom particles. This group contains more localized effects such as smoke, water fountains, and fiery embers. Located in this group is a helpful category labeled example templates. The example templates contain very simple effects that you can use to start from a more basic level of functionality and build up from there. These include effects such as flipbook example effects using image sequences on particles, vertex lighting for creating effects that utilize real-time lights and physics-based effects if you want to create something using collisions. To create a new particle effect, click on the Add New button found in the Objects panel and choose Particles. This will create a new particle effect and a new resource folder with the particle material, texture, and mesh you need to get started. Each effect contains at least one scene object with a mesh visual component that acts as an emitter for the effect. The mesh visual component contains a reference to a material where the controls for that effect are handled. Find the material associated with this emitter object and let's take a look at the parameters. Each material's parameters are divided into categories. Spawn time controls lifetime of particles and particle count. You can customize these options to spawn particles over time or burst the particles all at once. You can specify a minimum and maximum lifespan for each particle. Spawn location allows you to define the area in which particles will spawn. You can control this by defining the dimensions of the volume in which the particles will emit from. Textures allow you to define custom color and alpha textures you'll apply to each particle. You can define a flipbook texture to play animated image sequences per particle. You can also define a ramp texture to control the fading of particles, or add a gradient of color to particles over their lifetime. This is great for fiery smoke effects. These parameters control color being applied to your particle and the alpha values. You can specify random color and alpha values for each particle as it's spawned. Noise allows you to control how much random movement you'd like to add to your particles. Collision allows particles to collide with the ground to give you a sense of bouncing and sliding around. Velocity controls the movement speed of your particles. You can specify random three-dimensional directions to apply to your particles. Rotation will control the amount of random rotation applied to your particles. Rotation is applied around the center of the particle. The values you specify are random ranges to rotate around this center point. You can also find features for particle alignment here under rotation. This determines which way particles will be forced to face. The default is Z, which is towards the camera, and alignment is along the movement direction of the particles. Scale controls the size applied to each particle between a random range of values. You can scale particles over time and give them more variation when spawned. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, gravity force controls the amount of gravity applied to your particles. A negative value sends particles toward the ground, and a positive value sends particles into the air. There's a lot of cool stuff to play around with in here, and the particle system has many features for you to create exciting and impressive effects for you to use in your projects. You can easily export any of these effects into another project using the export functionality. For more detailed information on the particle system parameters, check out our guide on particles below.